starting a new business or running an existing one? Got that brilliant idea? Don't know how to bring it to reality? Aware Channels is your number one provider for custom Roku channels, apps and website designs, video productions, live streaming solutions, business IT project consulting, and brand development. Aware Channels consultants have decades of experience in IT, media, and business solutions. Listen to a testimonial from a satisfied client. Hi, this is Rick Wilson, manager of Align Systems. We just wanted to give a thumbs up for all the hard work Aware Channels did for us. They were able to offer solutions to our core business problems and think outside the box for us. Indeed, sometimes you can be too close to one's business, and it's nice to have a company that can manage your challenges and offer alternatives that make business sense. It's nice to not have to micromanage anymore. Thanks again to Aware. We look forward to having a long and profitable relationship with them. To some, Christmas is a season of sharing and caring. To others, it is a time of giving gifts to loved ones, enjoying fresh fallen snow and Santa's gifts under the tree. But in the midst of all these wonderful things, let us remember that Christmas is a celebration of God's love. My name is Madalina No. This is my mom, Elena. We are from Romania. We have a wonderful son. He's two and a half. This is Edward. His name is Edward. We Edward call him no. Eddie. Say hi. Say Wait. hi. Christmas to me is the um, Christmas the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's the most important thing I can think of. Of course, Christmas here in America is so commercial, commercialized. So. It's all about presents and lights and all that, which is fine, but we have to always remember the meaning, the real meaning. Christmas to me is a time to be with family and reflect on the past and what is to come in the future. It's a time to remember our faith, not only in God, but also our families and what is important to us. And it's also a time to be close and fellowship with people that are most important to us in life. Our friends. Most memorable Christmas <laughs> was the first Christmas I celebrated with my husband when I got married. Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'll say that um, it was it was memorable for me because that was the first time I was celebrating Christmas as a married person. And um, we had to figure out or decide, you know, how we wanted it to be. And um, we actually celebrated Christmas with our baby. So it was, uh, it was very good.
Christmas in Romania with uh, a lot of snow and snow is always associated with Christmas but not so much here in Texas <laughs> but uh, snow and Christmas go really well together and uh, I remember when I was, I was a child uh, my mom always uh, actually Santa Claus always <laughs> she was always putting the Christmas tree the Christmas presents under the tree so I can find them uh, on Christmas morning. So I was very excited about finding the, the presents and we, we tried to keep the tradition with our son, Edward. I guess uh, memorable, with, I divide up two, one as adult, one as child. One as an adult is first Christmas with my son and wife. Um, although he was too young to open up his own presents back then, but it was still wonderful to have them. Um, as a child growing up, um, memorable Christmas really is composite of a bunch of uh, Christmases uh, up in the upstate New York. Having the snow, freshly fallen snow when it was fresh on Christmas, sometimes even up there you wouldn't have snow on Christmas, but seeing the freshly fallen snow on Christmas morning was something special. And also, when you're when I was a kid, waiting upstairs to come downstairs to open up our presents. I was in a family of six people, six kids. So um, having all of us waiting upstairs for, uh, while our parents uh, got everything ready downstairs, we would wait upstairs with anticipation for the presents. Hey, my name is Buki, uh, formerly Lewis, now Olowolayemo. This Dapo Olowolayemo. It's much of the time for sharing for caring, for remembering the less privileged people and also to take care of them and um, people that cannot afford what you have, you bring them to your house and you take care of them. So Christmas is a time of sharing and caring, it's a time of giving. Well, to me, I uh, feel that uh, Christmas is the most important thing to me that I can think of because um, well, that's the time so really remember you know the kids of Was the best thing I ever done. Personally, Christmas is about life. Because uh, the Word of God says in John 10 10, the thief does not come only to steal, but to kill and to destroy. But I've come that you may have. They're just talking about since Jesus Christ came to the world so that we may have life. And not only have that life, but enjoy it in the abundance. So to me, it's about the life in Christ and the life in you. living, you know, as kings in this world and have that life we're all expecting to to live in heaven. The most memorable one is when I was. So, so we spent that Christmas alone without a dad around and yeah, well, it was like, ah, I wish I had a Christmas with my dad around. Well, yeah. uh, I would say this Christmas is the most memorable Christmas to me uh, because this is the first Christmas that I'm going to be living with my wife.
the most memorable Christmas to me is like every Christmas, as long as I can remember. Uh, because there's always something new happening. I remember when uh, I had a, the first Christmas, Christmas with my family. We were like, everybody was there. And, uh, they were sharing what Christmas is all about and uh, gift and everything da, 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 when I was little. But I was, I mean, when I was growing up and uh, I started having Christmas on my own, something new would happen to me every Christmas season or through that year for the Christmas. So to me, every Christmas is my My name is Dupa James. Um, I'm here with my family, my husband, Tundi James, and my beautiful baby girl, and my mother-in-law. There is a day Christmas means a time. It, it's a time of reflection, actually, because it's when you remember that Jesus came to Earth and um, it, he was born. It's just a time you remember his birth, generally. But as a Christian, it means more because when after giving my life to Christ, I got to understand the meaning of him coming to earth and the miracle surrounding his birth the fact that he was conceived you know by the holy spirit or it is a mix is a mix of god and man and everything around it just the wonder of his existence and how precious it actually is that's what christmas really means to me christmas means a lot to me and uh, it's a time when we have to remember the birth of our lord jesus christ and um, when we have to remember how he is to us, and uh, it's always very interesting to always look towards Christmas. So that's what it means to me. Christmas. Um, I'm gonna start from my first, my first, um, my first awareness of Christmas. Generally, I was about four years old, and my dad had been, um, he had been posted to Kenya as an expatriate, and we started spending every Christmas in Kenya. I come from a rather large family of seven kids, and I'm the sixth child. And at that point, I was the youngest. That was before my younger brother came along, and. My oldest sister will gather all of us together and teach us Christmas songs. Then we will sing the songs for my dad's guests that come for the Christmas party. And after the first time we did it, we, they actually all started looking forward to it. So it became a yearly thing for us. And it was more like, it made us, I don't know how to describe it, but looking forward to the singing, looking forward to the, it was like we were entertaining them and then my siblings, everybody singing and it was really nice and as the years went on we just realized that every Christmas before we all got married and went our separate ways we all gathered together in the kitchen early in the morning every Christmas early every Christmas morning and we would sing and cook and chat and catch up on what we've all been doing all year you know long and I don't know it's just magical just remembering it it makes me smile um, for me, every Christmas has been very memorable. Like I said, I always look forward to Christmas because it's a time whereby we, you know, we come together as a family. And growing up, you know, remembering you know, the Christmas carol, you know, when we all come together, we go to church. And we've always been going to church growing up. And um, also, when I got married to, you know, the first Christmas, we celebrated it together. And it was really fun, it was different, you know, we invited a lot of people, a lot of friends came to the house to come and to celebrate our Christmas with us and, um, you know, that 
first Christmas, you know, that I celebrated with my wife. We really had a great time, and I won't forget that too. And um, yeah, this year too, we had um, our angel. So it was really cool celebrating Christmas with our little angel, Tony. In him there is no failure. In him there is no failure. In him there is no failure. Christ, Christ the Lord. Christmas to me means a lot and um, as for me Christmas means that when Christ came he came to die for me so that makes me the reason for the season because he came and he was born in my place he came and he was born because of me so the reason why he came to be born was because of me so that makes me the reason for the season and the reason he came to die was because of me also i cannot live without him memorable Christmas was last year I guess I celebrated it uh, with my wonderful church my family and it was the first time actually I celebrated with my family Chigo, Oji and it's my wife Asher and uh, my baby Jonathan you are the reason why we are breathing Jehovah, yeah Oh, Jehovah Jehovah You are the Prince of Peace You are the Lord of Lords The Bright and Bright and And I am sitting right next to my very handsome husband. My name is Toby Monaghan. It's Christmas time and it's just a time with family and friends and celebrating the purpose of Christmas. And Especially excited about this Christmas because it's uh, it's actually our first together, and uh, we just want to thank God that we we get to uh, just appreciate um, the the season together. Thank you.
Cheso Iwaili Roberts. Um, I don't know, you just married to Roberts. I live in Houston. I'm happy to be here. This is very different and very nice and unique. I would do more of this. The time of Christmas is not it's just a time. It's not, it, Christ wasn't born, to, born on the 25th of December. But all the time the, the world chose to celebrate his birth. And what does his birth uh, exemplify? It exemplifies the love of God for us. How much God loves us. One more time we sing My name is Bumi Ajanoko. I'm here to celebrate the Christmas and I wish them the best of uh, this year and um, 2013. scripture is in John 3 16. It says that for God to love the world that he gave to his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. And Christ the, the gift of Jesus was summarized in the book of Romans chapter 4 the very last verse. It says that Christ's death delivered us Christ's birth delivered us and his death established us in righteousness. faith is that love and what God expects from us individually and corporately is that we should walk in that love with, with one, one another and the the reason for the season is just a celebration of love it's the deliverance from certainty of death to certainty of life and I want to encourage us as believers and those that are not, are not believers yet that the beauty of being a Christian is that the fact that the Holy Spirit, with the Spirit of God, Spirit of Truth, lives in us. It's the book of John, God says, when Christ was still with disciples, says, the Holy Spirit is with you now, but it will be in you. So the defining factor is that, is that Holy Spirit, and it's called Spirit of Love and Spirit of Truth. As believers, our defining factor is love. And what Christmas does is that, if that was God's seed to say, come, Christ's birth and death is a gift of God to us. We're not obligated to accept him as Lord and Savior. But our acceptance as Lord, Lord and Savior is just a response to that love. So salvation is a response to the love of God. So Christmas is just about celebrating God's love in the birth of Christ and, and in summarizing Easter and it's exemplified in the way we live our lives as believers. The Bible says, by this men shall know that you are mine when you do what? Show love one to another. So outside love we are we are not God. But the Bible also says in the book of John that God is love. Whenever love is absent, God is absent. So, and love is not necessarily uh, an emotion, but love can be expressed as, as, as an emotion. But love is actually a choice. We choose to walk in love with God. We choose to, love, to walk in love with, with each other. Remember that the reason 
for the season is the celebration of God's love. Never forget that. God loves you. And he demonstrated it in giving you Christ as the, as the, recon, as the reconciler of darkness into, into, eternal, into eternal life. And also, his love is in us continually in that the Holy Spirit lives in us. He teaches us the way of love. Christmas here with my husband and children. My first Christmas in America. I feel the cross. 
One song where you see this my nice shape, huh? This is where it is actually a bonus. I'm gonna teach you how this song is done. Eh? Do you know the meaning of Akitiba? You can't explain it to anybody. He's big, so big, just big, so big, just big, so big, just big. So when we get to Akitiba, need to get some space. Eh? If you don't have stomach, photo. I give it back. Oh yeah, let's go. Ha! What do I can see my can Tu le sais, 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 tu le
it again.
Lift him up. Hey, lift him up. Oh, lift him up. Huh? Lift him up. Okay, lift him up. Lift him, lift him, lift him, lift him, lift him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am Jesus. I am Holy Ghost. I am Jesus. I am Holy. I am. I am. I am. Oh yeah. I am. 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 you haven't been born again that long, so I know you know that bass line. Hallelujah. Lift him up. Lift him up. Lift him up. 